Spokane police are crediting bank employees and customers with helping to catch an armed robbery suspect. Those witnesses allowed officers to spot the bandits getaway car as it sped through the military cemetery in Riverside State Park near Government Way in Houston. That is where KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live with this story. Jeff. And Robin, this suspect was so intent on shaking the police officers who were following him that he actually drove his car through this locked steel gate here at the cemetery entrance. But even after he abandoned his vehicle, he wasn't able to outrun a very determined detective. 43-year-old Lawrence Weidman was already a registered sex offender and, according to police, tried his hand at bank robbery in North Spokane this morning. At about 9.45 this morning, we received a hold-up alarm from the Wells Fargo Bank at Monroe and Francis. Uh, we were able to get receive a suspect vehicle description from witnesses at the scene and officers did catch up with that vehicle. A lone detective followed Weidman's car into Riverside State Park and before backup officers arrived, Weidman crashed through the steel gate. Weidman then skidded to a stop just shy of a hundred foot embankment and took off with his bag of loot on foot. And officers chased him all the way down to the river and took him into custody. It was reported that he had a handgun at the time and um, so that's you know very concerning to us as officers. We don't want somebody like that running on the loose because you just don't know what they're going to do. Records show Weidman Weidman was convicted of third degree child rape back in 2009. Now because of the help of some good witnesses, he's facing a minimum of 10 years in prison. I've said it time and time again, the people out there, our citizens, are our eyes and ears. So when they can help us out with something like this, it's, it's a big deal. And one of the things that caught the attention of one of those citizens is when she saw a man running down the sidewalk with a plume of orange dust coming out of a bag he was carrying. That was actually the dye packet going off in the cash that he had taken from the bank. She followed him until he got in a car, got his license plate, and then called 911. Reporting live in Northwest Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.